Okay, Kim, thank you so much. Uh, you know, on Monday, all eyes will be, well, I shouldn't say all eyes will be on the sky. Hopefully, your bare eyes will not be on the sky. But everybody's going to be talking about the solar eclipse, as we have been here. We'll be on the air until noon that day. And while you may need to make sure that your eyes are well protected, of course, the same goes for your camera. Uh, Lena DeFlorius is showing us how to keep your equipment safe while still getting the perfect image of the solar eclipse. Lena, good morning. Good morning. You know what? And your number one uh, piece of equipment would be your eyeballs. So you want to make sure that you're blocking out all of the bad things as you're enjoying the solar eclipse on Monday. And uh, to my husband, don't worry, when Chip and Nails was just on, I was wearing these. I didn't see a thing. So John here is with me at Tempe Camera. So let's talk about these glasses. We just looked on eBay. One of these is going for 24,000 smackers. No bids, I'll say that much, but still hot commodity because you really need them if you're going to look up into the sky at the eclipse. Correct. You shouldn't look directly at the eclipse unless you have uh, solar or NASA approved solar glasses mm -hmm. and taking pictures um, with appropriate equipment. Right. Filters and solar uh, filters. Yes, because, you know, a lot of people want to capture the moment. We see selfies galore, pictures. Now, I will say, though, your pictures are going to end up a lot more beautiful than most of us because you have the right kind of equipment. So let's talk about these glasses really quickly. I'm going to have you hold that because you were saying a lot of people, you know, we don't have the great camera setup that you have, but if you want to use your iPad or your cell phone, you can if you have these, like, approved glasses with an ISO number. Correct. Glasses or solar filters and as long as they're put directly over the camera lens. Okay, so we'll, we'll just do it just like like so. And then am I still able to look through, like, you know, look at my screen? You're to see at live view, correct. Okay. But don't look at the sun. Again, look at your live view screen. Right. Okay, so that's one way we can do that without damaging our camera because the lens isn't ready. You can't just snap the picture without that cover because you'll right. ruin your phone and you'll be mad at yourself. Correct. Right. Okay, so let's move on to the actual uh, filters here for your camera. Now, this is a very hot commodity. We've been calling around, and they're almost sold out. In fact, you had a bunch of them, and this is probably your last one. Correct. Now, these are neutral density filters, but you should go at least with 16 stops or more. And when you do put them on your camera lens, you should not look through your uh, viewfinder right. directly. You should look at your live screen. Okay, and then you are going to give us a demonstration to here because with the glasses, uh, you can test those out in your own bathroom. Just turn on the light and then look through the glasses. If you can see the light through the glasses, those are not approved sun or, or, uh, solar glasses. So this one, you're saying we shouldn't be able to see any light through that either. Correct. See very little light. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's how we know how well it's working, but still you don't want to stare directly into it. Not directly into the... Uh, camera unless you're looking at the live screen, not the viewfinder. Okay, perfect. So again, these, unfortunately, this is the last one, pretty hot commodity there. So basically what we're saying, of course, is you want to enjoy the view on Monday, but you got to make sure you have the right stuff in place. So you don't hurt your eyes or damage any of your equipment. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Good tips.